This is Carl Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, and I'm at NAB right now with Shane Hurlbut. How are you doing, Shane? Good yeah, to very see you again. good. Thank you so much, Colin. So you having fun here? I am. Uh, it's a little, uh, you know, kind of overload. Uh, this has been a really amazing show. I mean, I've been able to walk around it a little, but I'm on like three times a day talking, so it's kind of a, you know, you got to kind of reserve your resources. <laughs> so, yeah, but no, it's it's fun, and I'm and, and the response of all these people, all these filmmakers that have come here, it's really inspiring. And speaking of films, your your film Active Valley, you were the DP and yeah, Active Valley, genius behind a lot of the different shots and inventing a lot of techniques and stuff. And we had camera mounts and all yeah, kinds of stuff. we kind of really uh, took that whole film in a much more out of the box kind of thinking process. We we said to ourselves, okay, we have a camera that is this big now. You know, it's not a huge mass. So how can we move that camera differently? How can we put it in places that you've never really seen a camera before? And when you start to do that, and when you start to see how it can move and how intimate you are with the action, and how immersive the experience is, I, I think we kind of you know really flip the action genre on itself. And I, some guy I was in at uh, Quiznos, he goes, "You're the DP of Active Battle." And he starts shaking me physically like I'm like, whoa, dude, you know, settle down. He goes, that movie, when they went into that house, I felt like I was there. When he was dying, I felt like I was dying too. And I'm like, all right, I did my job. As a no, no. Well, I mean, it definitely had that, you know, almost felt like I was playing a video game. You know, it's the modern warfare, you know, and you're right there, you know, you're attached to the, you know, you're seeing what the guy is seeing. Absolutely. I mean, that was the original concept. It's like when I signed on. And real Navy SEALs. Real Navy SEALs, completely active duty. Uh, and, you know, my concept was Call of Duty first person shooter. You never really had seen it. You know, there were plenty of, you know, GoPro helmet cams and, you know, that are all in focus and they don't look very cinematic and you use them for 10, 15 frames. But this we wanted to be able to play out and see the landscape of when SEALs go into a room, how they take it down. And it's, it's a ballet. And when you start to see that from their perspective, and then all of a sudden you see the hand come out and squeeze, that, that I mean, it's just really cool. Definitely. Yeah. I definitely felt immersed in the film. You definitely accomplished your goal with that. Well, thank you so much. So is there uh, anything that you're working on right now that you can talk about? It's exciting. I mean, I know there's a lot you can't talk about. But. Yeah, it is. These are very exciting times. Uh, we were approached by Canon that we had to keep completely under wraps up until uh, the... NAB, which was on the 15th, and this was the new DSLR 1DC 4K capture, and we'd been working on the film, we shot it in four days, Po Chan was the writer-director, I had teamed up with her on the last three minutes, which was the, the last Canon project that we had done together, and we uh, wanted to show the 1DC DSLR as not only as that camera that you mount on motorcycles and drive over and do everything that you know all the big motion picture you knows are doing they're using it for those 8 and 12 frame cuts we wanted to show the cinematic quality as a b c d e f g camera and the ticket is a beautiful love story uh, between art and science. Art being Poe's story and her emotions and creativity and the science of taking the newest form of technology that is in a totally contained, no external recording, 4K capture device. And it's pretty amazing. It's, it's going to shake shit up. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because, you know, as a DP, you know, just talking a little bit about the art side of it and the concept side. I remember it was a couple of years ago, we were at the Photo City Expo, and you were showing some of your experimental work. You remember the little short story you did? Where it was the guy who tripped over and he fell, he collapsed, I think he dropped a, a little diamond or a gem or something. Yeah. And then it goes through his whole life and it was a baby like growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was perfect. I mean, Thank you. you know, I was really, really moved by it. And 
you know, obviously, you know, it was a lot of technical ability and the different things you did, but, you know, it wasn't like a million dollar budget or anything like no. that. So, so how, you know, what advice would you give to a young filmmaker who maybe wants to, you know, get in and, you know, create the short film? And, you know, what was the most important element to that? You know, the most important element is the story. The story is king. And, you know, I pride myself in being a storyteller. Uh, when I'm on stage, when I'm behind the camera, it's all about telling stories. And how to best assist that story is by, you know, you read it. And by reading it, it will speak to you. Speak to you what tool you should use or what multiple tools. It will tell you what glass you're going to use. It will tell you everything. It's all there for the taking. But the story is the absolutely essential. Uh, and once you have that, it's you know kind of manicuring the visual landscape of how you want to tell that story and how to best assist the actors and best assist the story and best assist the, the character development. And what kind of mood you want to put on it. And you, know, you, you look back at some of the features that I've done and you kind of see the headspace that you go into to kind of create that world. That world that I capture you for two hours and hopefully transport you to a, to a, a unique place. And I think for those, you know, young filmmakers starting out, it's attaching yourself to the story. You ingest as much knowledge in storytelling and, and composition. It's not about learning the tools. I could care less about every goddamn one of them here. Okay, knowing the playing field, yes. But uh, as a cinematographer, that they're exactly just that, they're tools. And uh, I think a lot of people tend to get a little too gear-centric and camera-centric. And I think uh, we got to bring the art of cinema back. And that is through wonderful emotional storytelling. That's awesome. So I really appreciate you oh, yeah, taking you the time it. to come by. So, Thank you, know, you very much. watching Photoshop Cafe TV. We're at NAB with uh, the famous Shane Burton. Thank you.